guys welcome back to my channel um, today I'm gonna do a unboxing and I just got a package like about an hour ago um, from Morphe in the mail that I ordered with my own money and stuff and I ordered the 350 um, the twins palette and a couple brushes so I just wanted to unbox them with you I'm looking at my order sheet that I got in the mail and I just opened it up just so it'd be a little bit quicker and the first thing that is up on top are the palettes right here along with the brushes so the palette comes wrapped in with this bubble wrap because the box says um, handle with care fragile so let me just open these up now that I got everything out of the box, I'm first going to show you the brushes just because it's just a couple of them. Um, I'm going to try to open this. So the brushes that I got were the um, just detail brushes, eye brushes. The first one that I'm going to show you is a M558, which is a fan brush. It's pretty small. I wanted it because I love to do the highlight, um, but I don't want to use a big brush because I know when you use a big brush, um, it tends to just kind of buff all around and I don't want it to come down to my cheek. I want it to stay like up here on the cheekbones. So that's why I got a little small one just to kind of be a little bit more precise. And this is the M558. Can see that and the bristles are pretty soft the next brush that I got that I'm pretty sure it's the one of the badger ones that I'm talking about is the B33 the B33 number right there if you put a focus focus there we go and it looks like this it's just a small smudger brush um yeah, it's the B33 Badger Oval Smudger. And I wanted it just so I can get it down here and smudge um, the lower lash line with some eyeshadow. And it's pretty soft. Again, they're pretty sturdy, so that's good. I just have to make sure I wash them before I use them because you should always be washing your brushes when you get them in the mail. Always wash them before you use them because you could probably have... Um, a reaction to it on your skin the next one that I picked that was the B16 which is also one of the badger um, collections from the collection it is the mini smudger which is a smaller brush than that one let me just compare so this one is the oval smudger and this one is the mini smudger so you can tell obviously one's bigger than the other and again just to kind of smoke out this little part just to get a little bit more precise maybe put it in the inner corner maybe smudge out eyeliner from the top like when you want to make this do like a smoky eye and again sturdy pretty soft they're not like scratchy or anything like that and another brush that I got was a duo brush which is the M 158 and it's just like a dual um, spoolie and the angled at the end and I just got it for my mom because she has a dip brow and she's been wanting to play with it and I thought you know what a good brush you don't have to be like running around um, you don't have to be running around looking for the two brushes because that's what always happens to me I have one I have two spoolies that are just like the brush and I have like a couple angled brushes, but I always tend to lose them and I can't find them. So I thought, you know, it'd be great just to kind of be able to throw this in your purse if you're on the go and not have too many brushes with you. The next brush that I got was the B13, which is also part of their Badger um, line. And this one's pretty soft. Yeah, it's pretty soft. It's small. And it is described as the... What is it? The Deluxe Blending Fluff. I believe it's that one. Yeah, the Deluxe Blending Fluff. 
and I wanted just to kind of be able to like buff out the contour a little bit better around the forehead, around the temples, maybe underneath the chin, jawline. It's pretty perfect, small, nothing too crazy. Just buff out anything on the face. The last brush that I got was the Morphe E46. It looks like that. And mainly the reason why I got it was because a lot of the Morphe brushes look like these Sephora collection uh, brushes. And I thought why not give it a chance if they look like them. They might just feel like them. They might just work like them. These tend look like they have a little bit less... Um, how would you describe it? Like bristles, I would say. Less uh, bristle on it. The Sephora collection ones are definitely much more thicker. Obviously a little bit more bigger. This one's pretty small. And on the website, it is called the Mini Angled Buffer. And yeah, so the number is E46. And again, just to kind of buff out. I really like using different types of brushes for the face. I like to have a lot of them in my collection because, you know, sometimes you don't have time to wash them constantly. I am a makeup artist, so when I see clients, I want to have enough brushes that are clean, that um, do different things. If I'm seeing more than one person, that's definitely a good idea to get more than one brush, especially if you like them. And this one seems to be really good quality, very soft. Obviously, I have to wash it. Um, we'll see what I find a purpose for this. I really like the kind of brushes that have like this top like white and I know it's because they tend to blend out um, creams and like powders much more better than some that look a little bit like this. I have a lot of brushes that are like this um, so I wanted to kind of branch out and try brushes that are more like this because I do feel like they tend to blend out um, foundations and creams much better than those brushes. I actually have a um, Sephora collection like the mini multitasker one. I really love that one. I feel like it blends out my foundation really well. I haven't used it for creams so maybe I'll try to use this for cream like cream blush or cream contour. Um, so yeah I'm really excited to use this brush. And all my other brushes. Before getting into the palettes, I got another thing which was the mini hip brush belt. I'm reading off the thing because you know I ordered this earlier in the week and I completely forgot what exactly I ordered. But yeah, I ordered the mini mini no wait, not the mini. I ordered the medium hip brush belt. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk. <laughs> get out of the package I'm actually surprised in the size of the brush belt I actually thought it was going to be smaller which I was hoping it wasn't going to be small because I want to be able to fit as many brushes as I can and this is how it looks on the website it doesn't really show how it looks like inside when you put your brushes I thought it was just going to be like a kind of just putting in your brush and it just stays like that which it does but it actually has loops inside to put your brushes in which is pretty nice for those smaller brushes that you don't want them to like fall all the way inside and yeah that's how it looks inside the little loops in there and then space in here to kind of put the bigger brushes if they don't fit in the loops same over here but these are a little bit bigger than the ones on the bottom obviously I feel like these are going to be for the ones that are bigger and these are the ones that are going to be for more detailed brushes but then again, you still have that room to kind of be able to fit in your bigger brushes that don't fit in the loops. So yeah, that's pretty neat. I've been needing one of these desperately because I have so many brushes that I just throw them in my drawer where I put my makeup. And they just are all over the place. And I really wanted something that I could take on the go in case I actually do someone's makeup. You know, one weekend and I have all my brushes scattered around. That's really not a good idea. It's better idea to just have them in brush belt and just kind of be able to walk out the door. I don't know what this measures measures out to be is in hip size so I don't know if it's gonna fit all hips um all waists um I'm pretty sure that on the website they are more specific on the size or the length of the brush 
um, about the hip size, the length of this loop. So if you have, you know, any concerns, just kind of like look into the website to look for the details. Okay? Okay. And finally, for the grand finale, the two palettes that I got, they came in their own box. I'll open the... which one? I don't even think they have specific names on the box. So we'll see which one this one is. And this box has padding so you know your eyeshadows won't break or anything. On the back of the box it actually has the ingredients. Upside down. It actually has the ingredients to the eyeshadows. Um, it doesn't have it on the palette when you open it up. But it does have the name Morphe. It doesn't have Morphe brushes but it does have Morphe on it. Okay. And let's just open it up. Oh, if I could open it. Okay, there you go. So the first one that I'm opening up is the Matte 350. And it looks like this. They're really beautiful colors. Um, a lot of browns. And then obviously your corals that everyone loves. I feel like everyone just loves looking at this side of the palette. Um, it's definitely my favorite side and then a lot of browns that you can use to blend in the crease or deepen up the crease I'm not gonna swatch all the colors in the pan because that would be too many for this video but I'm going to swatch one that I like I'm gonna swatch two I'm gonna swatch this one up here on the corner right here um, snag on my hair Got a little caught on my hair. There you go. And at first touch, they feel really, really creamy. And I'm just watching on the back of my hand. And they look really, really pigmented. Obviously, when it comes to using a brush and dipping it in and, you know, swirling around your crease, I definitely do feel like you're going to get a good pigmentation from it just for, by the feel of it, by touching it. Um how it picked up pigment like just the feel of it you can tell that you're gonna get a good um blend in your crease if that's what you want to use it for you're gonna be able to use it really well um with the brushes not with just your finger i'm gonna swatch the other one that i like and the other one that i like is this one here at the bottom i'm using my ring finger to swatch that and going right next to the other one this one's a little little bit less pigmented than what I thought it would be from the pan as you can see this one is the one right here down and the one up here is the one the first one that I made the first swatch so this one is the bigger swatch and this bottom here is the more thinner swatch as you can see it still has that kind of hue that um the same kind of hue but it is definitely a little bit more lighter than what I thought it would be but still very creamy I'm pretty sure they're gonna be really easy to blend I can already tell by that and I really like it for the price of it I believe I got the bundle which is $43.99 so each palette comes out to be like $21.99 you know with tax and everything and yeah so I'm really liking the colors I was really excited I'm pretty sure everyone was excited for these palettes so I don't think it would really matter if you got like a bad eyeshadow in these palettes there's so many that you can choose from you're not limited to any um, which is great this is the first time I've ever purchased from Morphe brushes ever purchased a palette from them anything and so far so good for the quality and the price it's pretty good so I'm just gonna give you a last glimpse of this palette just so you guys can see how that looks and get a good look at it and the eyeshadow pans are actually really nice in size they're not too small because I know um, in the past some other companies that do eyeshadows like these they're like really small so for the price of it it's not 
not great. Not great of a deal if you're gonna get a lot of duds. So the other one that I'm opening up is the shimmer one, which is exactly the same as the matte one, but everything's just a shimmer. Let me just try to open this. <laughs> Take forever. It's a little bit hard to open when you have um kind of long nails. Um, so this is the shimmer side. You can see they're all shimmer, every single one of them. And they look really pretty. Again, this side is the side you want to get at. So I'm going to swatch the same colors that I did for the, for the matte one. The ones that are in the corners. The bottom corner and the top corner up there. I'm going to use this side of my hand to swatch. I'm going to swatch the first one up on the top corner. And just swatch down. And that's how that one looks. Really pretty, really nice. There's not like big, huge chunks of... um. um glitter or anything like that it's actually really nice and iridescent you could probably even use some of these eyeshadows as highlights and the next one i'm gonna swatch is the one on the bottom corner really creamy compared to uh of the first one that i swatched this one is definitely creamy so it's pretty nice that one's nice i think i did a better swatch on this one than the first one though um but yeah really pretty I can just imagine myself using this eyeshadow like wet and like tapping it in on the eyelid it's gonna look really good so yeah so again let me remind you I swatched the one up here on the top corner and then the one on the bottom and the one on the lighter one yeah the lighter one is the one up top here and the darker one is the one on the bottom right here. So yeah, just so you guys can see how they look. Really pretty. Like I said, if you get one bad one from the batch, I'm sure it's not going to be a big deal because all the other ones seem to be pretty good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed the little swatches that I did and the unboxing with me. And yeah, so... I think I'm going to do a tutorial on this palette, on these palettes, very soon. So look forward to that. And yeah, I think this pretty much concludes our video for today. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.